home or corporate gym grip training. What's up, Internet? Jason Inglis of Big Jay's Extreme Fitness. Yes, as you can see behind me, I am still at Intensityville. It's the 2nd of November, 2012. We've received the call. We just haven't been given the order to roll to the East Coast. And I can't wait to get out there and help you guys, okay? So what I'm going to show you guys today, oh, first off, my shoulder's getting better and better. So I'll show you a real quick shoulder workout, as well as a grip training program that you can utilize at your home gym or your corporate gym. All you need is a couple of dimes, a couple of quarters, and some hex head dumbbells like these I have here. Now, most of your corporate gyms have those kind of dumbbells, but they're rubber coated even better. They're a lot thicker. Uh, they don't weigh as much, but that will work your grip even more the bigger the, the apparatus is. And you'll find your way, uh, find yourself working your way up. I'll even show you some different finger type lifts and some twists and some pinches, etc. So this is an exciting workout for me to show you guys. I get so many questions about, you know, how many times should I train a week? I, I can't afford some of the equipment. The pinches are too expensive or the grippers are too expensive. The pinch block, the fat bar. I know it's a lot of money. So before you start buying all this expensive equipment, let's get your grip ready for it and then you can venture into buying some of that stuff. Okay, check it out. Now you want to start out with a couple of dimes, okay? Every gym will have them, especially at your house. You want to put the smooth side out, and I'm not using any chalk because a lot of those corporate gyms are not going to allow it, but you just want to transfer back and forth. And you'd be surprised at by grabbing the smooth side out, how much of that form is going to start in play there, start working. And then you can even get a little cocky there, and kind of start chunking them up in the air and pinching them. Then you can use your two middle fingers like so. Then you can actually start using one finger at a time and then each finger all the way through. See that middle one's kind of almost not strong enough to do it. There's the ring finger. One thing you don't want to do is put your fingers on the numbers because that's almost like using a grip, uh, well, a, a cheat or an assist. So I just grab the whole top of the dumbbell head, and I hope you can see this, I'm filming it by myself, and then I'll just, you know, put it up, pick it up, and put it down. Or I can transfer it back and forth like so, and then when it drops, you can feel it, just like that. And then if you want to get really crazy with it, you start taking fingers away. So you move your pinky, you move your pointer and you got two fingers, or actually three, and then let's go with the middle finger. It's tough. See, I'm trying to cheat. Go straight to that one. The ring finger, let's go like this. Yeah, the ring finger's working. Middle finger's working. Let's go to the pinky. Uh, there you go, guys. Uh, I don't know what I can do with my left and my right. There we go. Also, happy birthday to Andrea V. Thank you so much for the shout out you gave me on your channel. Happy birthday, best wishes, and continued intensity. Come a long way, Jody Miller. Shout out to you. Eight days out to the Miss Natural Olympia. She will be defending her title.
this is three dimes here. And I'm gonna do a little transfer back and forth. Got the three dimes back and forth, just like I did in the other video. I'm just kind of showing you guys. And then here, start to rotate back and forth. Do you a set of five or ten, however many you can do. And you will be surprised, I'm telling you guys, this is really going to increase the size of your forearm and definitely the strength of your overall upper body workouts. And then back and forth, you can even get real cocky, start chunking them and catching them like so. Whoop. Watch your toes. Still no chalk, I got a couple of dimes. There we go. It's tough filming your own. I know what Han Champion was talking about. You either get a great video or a great workout. Tip. Yeah, song is right. Jim is right. Pull it. Yeah. So anyways, here's two dimes. But what I'm gonna do is just curl it up. Ooh, I can barely do that. I could definitely curl it this way, but let's see if we can curl it this way and then twist, twist, back down. Oh yeah, twist, twist, that's tough. Let's see if we can do it with the left hand. The left injury on the shoulder, bicep's not affected as much. Up, let's do it up with a twist, twist, back down. That's tough. I might wanna start with just one down there, or one plate. Twist, twist, back down. A lot of forearm strength and holding that at a peach position. That's a little progress. I can't just pick it up. I'm holding it. Now these are quarters and I'm still not using any chalk. Okay, and it's starting to really slip bad. Okay, I got two quarters transferring back and forth and it's really taxing again. I'll show you it's two quarters. Do it with 35s. So I'm feeling good. Intense shoulders and arm training with some home and home gym and corporate gym grip training. Shoulders feeling a whole lot better. I'm probably 60% of what I should be. I uh, just wanted to tell you the music today was brought to you by Crystal Method, uh, Velvet Revolver, and of course you're listening to White Zombie right now. There's a couple of lifts that I did that a lot of you guys are already very uh, professional at. I can't pick up the 45s off the ground. I've got to hover with both hands and then release. That's just something that i got to continue to work on, and I've been doing this for one year now, a little bit more. But uh, shout to Paul Knight. Thanks so much for getting me into this.
Thanks for the spot. Give me the camera. No problem. Good job. That's the way it's better. Hey, you want some beer, man? Yeah, heck yeah. Let's go. Oh shit, I forgot the beer. <laughs> <laughs> This one is worse than Tim Gaines and Green Fitness. <laughs> it's very contagious and you can too work on it at your own home gym or at a giant corporation gym. Remember, sometimes you may or may not be able to use a chalk. I again am so ready to road to the East Coast. Thoughts and prayers to every one of you guys that are suffering up there right now. Keep your heads up, we're all thinking about you. And I'll be rolling out soon. Until next video, if I'm still in Intensiveville another day or two, I'll send you another one out, maybe a chest workout next. Try to get uh, old Chris Jones and Vince Garza down of POG. And uh, I guess that's it. Intensity rules, train hardcore, and we'll see you next video. Oh, 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 oh.